Hi, this is Shashi Saluna, and today I want to share about a topic many people are asking about during these times of restriction. And that is, can Tantra offer us something? Can, can it find a way that I can connect more with my beloved when we are not able to be together physically? So because of restrictions, so many people are stuck in different countries or cannot be together physically for one reason or another. And yet the desire is still there, of course, because the desire for intimacy and connection is so core to being human. Now, the reason that Tantra might have some answers for you here is that Tantra believes not only in the physical connection of touch and two bodies coming together, but it also acknowledges a more subtle layer of connection, which we call connection through the energy body. Now, do you need to believe in crystals and chakras and rainbows and unicorns to have an energy body? The answer is not at all. In fact, you use your energy body all the time just without realizing. For example, have you ever felt someone walking up behind you and you just turn around? Ah, oh, there you are. You can feel somebody before you see them, before you physically touch them. That's what we call the energy body. And with tantric practice and also the Chinese lineage, the Taoist practices, what we're doing is enhancing our capacity to feel energy so that we can start to connect with somebody else through the energy body. This brings such a deep level of intimacy and connection. If you think about it, when we come together physically, there's always we're always still two people. There's always some kind of level of separation and we all have this yearning to merge, to melt, to move beyond the feeling of separation. And if you are more in your energy body, if you're aware of your energy bodies, you can actually connect and merge. Energy bodies have this quality of merging. They're more fluidic, more ocean-like, more wave-like. So you can really merge and melt and connect. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can keep your clothes on and have full body orgasm and feel blissful, but you can even have this kind of connection on long distance. Now, learning Tantra, Tantric practice can take a long time, could be months or years for people to really start practicing and awakening all of these energies. But I just want to share with you a few tips if you're new to Tantra, but you want to connect more with your partner. All you're going to need for this is an open mind and a willingness to explore and create together. So let me, let's go, let's go with some tips there. So one thing that we use a lot in Tantra is eye contact. And you may notice a difficulty here because you can look at the camera and then the other person can see your eyes. But if you want to look at your partner's eyes, then you're going to turn and look at the screen. So you can only do one way eye contact. However, that is still a very beautiful thing. What you want to do is to acknowledge one of you is going to be seen and one of you is going to be the seer and maybe even put on some nice music in the background meditation music something very relaxing and then the one that's being seen is just going to look in the camera and relax you want to not be staring with your eyes and trying to see but like relax so that you're letting your partner fall into your eyes and this helps to breathe and to sigh and just feel that you're making a space for your beloved to enter into you and let them see your heart, let them see your inner world and put a timer on, give it five minutes to be seen. And your partner then is going to be looking into the actual camera, looking into your eyes and feeling into your depth, feeling into you, feeling into your soul. And then when you have your timer going off on your phone, try to get a nice little bell rather than a, an alarm sound. Take a deep breath together. Ah, and switch over. And then the other one will look into the camera and soften and, and receive. And your partner's going to look in your eyes. So this it might seem a little odd, out of sync, not to be looking at the same time. But you're allowing each other in to see you. And let everything be seen. We're not all just full of joy and happiness and love. We're also full of pain, worries, fears, all kinds of things going on. Just breathe, relax, and let it all be seen. Feel like you're allowing your partner to see into your inner world, to see into all of it, to see every piece of you. And just breathe your way through it and, and have that feeling of being seen. So this is a beautiful way to start your connection together. 
And during this time, we recommend not to use words at all, just breathe and sound. In fact, one of the keys of Tantra is to connect without using language, without using words um, as much as possible. There are some processes where we do want to share with words. But the thing is, what we're trying to do is switch from our cognitive mind, from our rational brain into a deeper part of our mind, into the part that's connected more with our feelings, the midbrain, the amygdala, the hippocampus, this part deep in the center of your brain that is all about emotionality and connection. And so we literally want to move the activity from our frontal lobe, from our thinking and our cognitive and our talking and our language and drop into a deeper place. And so we can do that with silence, listening to music, letting ourselves be seen. And another key way that we can drop into this deeper place is through what we call sounding. And this is the part where I really am inviting you to have a very open mind and an attitude of playfulness and curiosity, especially if you are raised, as I was, in a culture that teaches you not to make strange sounds. <laughs> the trouble is to be sexual, to let sexual energy and pleasure move through us. We have to move beyond those barriers and those fears of being heard and of making strange sounds. It's a more primal part of our brain, maybe a little more animalistic. And as you know, that's where our sexuality is really rooted. It's not in being proper and having good conversation and correct language. It's in being a little primal, animalistic and letting sounds come through. So after you've done your eye gazing, we're then going to, I'm going to invite you to sound, and this one you can do together. You can hear each other. If your Wi-Fi is good enough, you'll find there's a synchronicity. So you're going to breathe in and breathe out with a, ah, a sigh that has a sound. Now, this is really the key, this sounding, because sound is energy. And as we sound, our partner they get to totally hear and feel exactly where you're at. Now, it's not through the logical brain. It's not like you go, oh, I hear you. I can hear that you're feeling a bit like this and this and that. You know, it's not logical. But when you hear your partner sounding, ah, oh, mm, ah, oh, whatever sound they're making. <laughs> now some drilling happens from next door. Whatever sound your partner is making, you know exactly how they're feeling and you actually know how energy is moving through their body. And like I said, don't worry about your rational brain. You don't need to understand this rationally. You already know how to do it. It's in this more primal part of your brain. And when you hear a partner sounding, you actually know their pleasure, their pain, their energy, their emotion. You know everything that brings us deep sense of connection and intimacy. Not only that, but when we sound together, then our sexual energy starts to align it and, and kind of flow and resonate um, in a very magical way that makes us feel deeply connected. So you can connect to different parts of your body. You can say, let's sound through our heart for three breaths and you inhale together. Ah, and you really let the sound come from here and you can then hear each other's hearts. And you can feel your heart starting to have a conversation that's starting to resonate, starting to resonate. Don't think about it too much. Don't let your brain get in the way. Just breathe and try. Next up is our belly, which holds like our inner child. So there's a lot of, let's, we have in our belly, we have fear and lots of fear and worry and these kind of deep feelings. So these also need to be shared and heard. So you can put a hand in your belly. You can breathe three times together. Ah, and express. Notice the mouth has to be open, the jaw relaxed. And this is probably the biggest teaching I ever give in Tantra. Relaxed jaw, ah, open mouth. You can't orgasm if your jaw is... That's more the sound of constipation. So to be open, to let energy flow through, we have to be able to ah, open our mouth and let sound come through. If you feel silly about it, just laugh about it. Just be playful. Just overdo it for a little while. Ah, until you burst through your inhibitions. The last place we go is to the sex, into the hips. And again, you just intend to just to let the sound come from there. You breathe into the hips, you breathe into the sex, you exhale a sound, and you're going to hear each other's sexual energy. So you just breathe in. You can put your hand there. Ah, oh, oh, oh. 
Now, remember it's not a performance. The beauty of energy is that, it need, is that it's authentic. And actually, this can be quite hard to overcome because we're raised in cultures where we're taught to fake our sexuality, to you know, pretend that we're all kind of sexy and, and when we don't really feel it and, um, you know, plump up our lips, or put on certain clothes, or just kind of fake our sexuality, uh, fake our orgasms. And to really have rewarding connections, we need to move back to authentic sex. And that's what Tantra is helping us do. So I invite you to not, to watch if there's a part of you that wants to perform and make a sound to try and impress your partner. And how deeply you can really feel into your body and make the authentic sound. Which takes us to the next technique. The next technique is called body tracking. Um, body tracking is what really brings your consciousness and your awareness deep into your own body. And then when you sound, you're going to find you're even more authentic, even more connected. What is body tracking? Well, it means actually putting words, but to describe exactly what you're noticing and what you feel in your body without interpreting it, without giving it a positive or a negative. So I would close my eyes for a moment and feel my body and notice the, the, the loudest uh, thing going on in my body, the strongest sensation, and I will name it to my partner as if I'm describing a flower to a blind man. I'm really going to describe it precisely. So I'll go... Ah, I'm noticing there's like a little tingling vibration humming in my lower belly, right at the base of my belly. And it's radiating down into my buttocks and into my hips. And then you give it a sound. Ah. That's it. And then your partner will go and it could be anywhere in their body. I'm noticing a warmth in my chest, an expanding feeling, and I can feel it tickling, tingling right in my nipples and radiating all the way down to my fingertips. Ah, and so on. So when I said that you're not going to give it an interpretation, you're not going to say, oh, I'm noticing there's fear in my belly. Oh, I'm noticing I'm turned on. Oh, I'm noticing there's love in my heart. All of those things are interpretations. We want to go deeper than that. We want to go right into the exact sensation. I'm noticing a warmth radiating in my chest. You're really feeling in your body without a layer of interpretation. We also don't need to make it positive or negative. Oh, I'm feeling a bad feeling in my chest. I'm feeling a good feeling in my hips. It doesn't need to be good or bad or love or joy or fear. It's exact sensation. This is going to bring you so deeply in your body. And something with tantric sex is that we are allowing energy to flow through us. We're allowing life to flow through us no matter what it's bringing us. We're not going, oh, that's not a bit of life. I don't want that bit of life. That bit's not good. We're letting it all through. So whatever emotions we've been feeling, fear, anger, joy, happiness, ecstasy, hatred, whatever we're feeling, if we sound it, express it and move it, then life keeps moving through us. Nothing gets twisted or distorted. Everything is just turning back into pure life force. And in fact, everything turns back into love. So this is where we're going with our tantric lovemaking. And so that's why it's really crucial that we don't start labeling things and picking out what's good or bad. Just feel it and feel it all. Now, what's going to happen here is if you're sharing with your partner, you've done your eye gazing, you've done a bit of sounding. Now you're going to describe, oh, I'm noticing this and this and this. You're going to feel things because of each other. Like as your partner's describing, oh, I'm noticing this in my body and that in my body. And, and then they give it a sound. Oh, you're going to feel, you can sound with them. Ah, and you're going to start feeling each other's sexual energy and life force energy. When I say sexual energy, it's not only the energy in our hips and our pelvis and our sexual organs. It can flow through our whole body, our whole being. So we're not restricted to any part of the body. But obviously, there's a very potent, potent source of life force in the genitals. So you'll probably, if you have sexual attraction, you'll probably feel a lot of energy impulsing life force energy around the perineum, the buttocks, the genitals, the hips, all of this area can be very alive and very active. So feel into it, describe it, sound it. You might even move your body <sighs> and just stay authentic. What can start to happen is while you're breathing and sounding together, you may eventually then drop the words and just go into sounding together. Ah, oh, mm. 
And then you start feeling like you're making love to each other. Your energies are flowing together. You can still be fully clothed and have full body orgasm. This is a beautiful thing in Tantra. You may also, of course, choose to take off your clothes, add some oil, massage yourselves. But I really invite you to stay with the feeling of the energy and don't move into performance. Performance is the thing that makes us inauthentic, that takes us out of ourselves. Then it's like, oh, I'm being sexy for you and I hope I look sexy enough. And and we're no longer authentic and in ourselves. So just keep watching that piece that, that wants to please the other or impress the other and keep tuning in. What am I feeling? What's alive in me? Can I be present with it? Can I move it? Can I sound it? Can I accept it? Can I allow it? And that's what takes us into deeply authentic tantric lovemaking. So I think that's enough to get you started on some really juicy tantric online dates with your partner. And I'd love to hear how that is for you. Uh, obviously, sharing details as appropriate. So please feel free to add in the comments below uh, how this journey was for you. And I wish you a lot of juicy online dating together. Have fun. Thank you.